Well, went to the junkyard this morning and picked up the new, in quotes, seat. Um, I'm going to have to put some foam in here. Um, and then I'm just going to tape over it and then put a, a nice seat cover on it. And I apparently my seat belt doesn't match the, the seat belt receptacle, so I'll take the seat belt off of the old one, which is over here, which is missing this adjustment here. Um, so I'll take it off of off of there, and I'm hoping we might be able to reuse that the base from the old one for for the Ford seats, but we'll have to see. Anyway, quick update. Okay, here's my new in quotes seat installed. So today my plan is this part here that's missing. I'm going to. Um, chop apart the old seat that is kind of broken on the back part and take the bolster of, of foam and and transplant it in here and once we and once we've done that um, I have a, a chunk of burlap as you can see back there the red burlap which I'm going to put over top of it and then tape it down with the Gorilla Tape um, and there's also a few other places like here that need a bit of padding and then some tape but and the bit on the back when it's all done I have a, a seat cover for it so it's all hopefully all good um, the seat belt here is doesn't didn't match properly so I'll be swapping it out too the other thing we want to do today is actually uh, cut out more seat bolts uh, from the floor so let me adjust and the wind is blowing the door open and closed let me adjust position here okay so we have all the ones along these ones here and underneath the face shield there there's more all the way back to here and then all the way up that side to do so we'll figure out some today hopefully here goes nothing all right, well, we tore apart the other seat, and here is my current, um, not perfect, but patch for the seat. I took the entire bolster, foam bolster, out of out of the old piece. You can see I cut the entire side off. And I tape, uh, put it in here. I have three layers of burlap over top of it and Gorilla Tape uh, holding it down, which hopefully will actually stick it's fairly cold out so it's not doing the best at sticking right now especially on the vinyl but I just taped it all in and there was an, there was another piece in here that I put a little piece of foam in put a little piece of burlap over it and now I've just taped the whole thing over anyways you know and same thing over here there's a little tiny piece of foam in there and then we taped up the end of our armrest there was it was missing a huge chunk of foam in here well not huge but you know Anyway, a large-ish chunk in there, and so I, so I have to add that out. Anyway, so so I put a chunk, of, cut out a chunk of foam and put it in there, and then we just taped it over. And then, well, actually, this is not all the way stuck in there. We go. <laughs> then we had a couple slices in the back that we taped up as well. But I think this this is about as good as we're going to get for repairing this incredibly cheap uh, seat in the end. And we also uh, so pulled apart the other seat completely. You can see there's the top piece of foam. There's the bottom piece. And the the vinyl covers are in the trash. And there's the, the base that I'm hoping will work with the, the Ford seats that I have in the garage. I'm not sure. And then also we've got the sliding rails in there that are going to go in the trash. So not enough steel to bother with um, taking to the recycler at four cents a pound. You can just go in the dumpster. Um, so that's that's where we are so far. Now we might actually look at cutting some stuff. Kind of feels like a good idea. Oh, and we put all the all the wires that were all over the floor into a bin. So when the time comes, I can just take the bin to the recycler and get money for the copper. Um, I say not worth taking the steel. It's just not enough weight to bother with. Anyway, fun times. Here we go. Let's try this again. 
Um, Nice though. Way That's cut nearly all the way through. It keeps turning. That particular <laughs> bolt is very, very, very loose. <laughs> like I turn with my fingers easily. So it keeps turning while I'm trying to cut, which makes me look interesting.
I'm going to be bad boy if you sit that down. Give that the momentary break. When we get to the later ones, I'll have these under, not under my butt. Yeah. Well, we got one bolt out using the the new 3M silver discs, and we got to take a break and go to the store apparently. Um, so we'll we'll be back at it shortly, and then hopefully make some more progress. Those things cut a lot better than the Harbor Freight wheels do. I'm kind of not surprised; they also cost quite a bit more. Um, I didn't even try the the top of the line. Well almost top of the line 3M ones that I have, but the 3M Silvers do seem to work quite well. Um, so, we'll see. Uh, for now, let's just head out and deal with the errands and then come back to it while it's still daylight, hopefully. Where the hell? The pokey one is right next to your leg. 
Right through here? Uh, mm -hmm. Underneath the bag. Ah, there it. you go. Well, we managed to get two bolts out today, and then it's way too dark to bother trying the other ones right now. Um, we did have a, Adrian had a wonderful idea, which is our dead seats are now cushions when we're sitting on the floor. <laughs> it's a wonderful idea. It's also less cold. Yeah, also less cold. It gives us less sore the next day. <laughs> yep. So the new uh, three inch cutter, which is right there, actually works quite well with the the new blades on it. Um, the four inch cutter, which is over here on it, lying upside down, does a pretty good job of lopping off the rest of the head once we have got it cut down. So we're might going to try something slightly different tomorrow, which is cut down through the bolts, get them to you know get about half of the bolt head off using the the hammer and whatever else and then just cut across with the with the four inch and maybe it'll go faster i don't know we also with the bolts that were sticking out on the door oh uh, yeah we, yeah we yeah, fixed want to bring the light over yeah that'd be a good idea well that little work then so we we spray paint oh let me get my finger out of the way here we go <laughs> we spray painted the uh with with some blue paint that I found in my storage unit that I didn't realize I had. And uh, spray painted the bolts and then put some duct tape over top of them to give it a bit of padding if we do bang into them. So now it's like less likely that we're gonna forget they're there. And if we even if we do forget, it'll hurt less. So it's a good combination, I think. So, yep, getting somewhere. Not quite sure where yet, but we're getting somewhere. It's somewhere. Yep.